Welcome back to another amazing episode of the Hot Seat featuring Tesh over here. Yeah. Right, What's so up, guys? Tesh. If you haven't been on Hot Seat before, it's Game of Thrones, Kingly Man. First okay. time, baby. What we like to just get a little bit close. We like to put the heat on our guests over here, get to know them a little better. But we're gonna start off a little bit cold, a little cool to warm you up into the experiment. Get real sterile with Bart's questions because his questions are the most sterile you'll ever hear in your life. So go ahead and hit it off, Bart. Yo, hit me with it, bro. What? <laughs> Pattern of carpet pisses you off. Uh, pisses you off. It has, to, it has to piss you off. It has this, to make this is like me a real angry. thing for him. Okay, you know? so I, I, look, That's what I can't. I can't off. answer. Can you give me an example? Can I can't answer pattern. Okay, but I hate shag carpets. Does that count? Like yeah. the thick ones. The thick ones that the strands yeah. are really long. To me, they just it's like just dirt magnets. Exactly. Bacteria. But if you do ecstasy and you lay on it, it feels so good. <laughs> You come off all dusty though. <laughs> Hella right, dude. Just, I know, I, you know, I can't speak from experience. It's just but, like. But what did your friends tell you? <laughs> I probably would be amazing. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, look, I, if, if I was, you know, high on ecstasy, I think a shag carpet, I, I would be into it. But most things are pretty but cool it, on ecstasy, right? Was it get him to the Greek? In, in my sober state, I think I avoid the shag carpet. It feels 70s. Speaking of shag, um, do you like it shaggy or. Uh, you know, bald. <laughs> on him or on on his uh. I don't know why I'm staring at Ryan so intently. What? Sorry. Help him out, Ryan. <laughs> he's got a hair. He's got on a your stand. women, on your ladies. Come on. For me, whatever they're comfortable with, just, man. I'm yeah, very good much. Man, good I'm man. very much. It's yo. That's not my body. I don't give a fuck. What about on you? I do. Just for the people, oh man. You know, I will clean it up. Hey. Hey yo. I don't like getting yeah, pubic hair stuck in my teeth though. But it's good floss. But you get pubic hair stuck in your teeth. Yeah. That's not fun. Sometimes it happens. As an Asian. I'm a very hairy agent, so I got a lot to work on. Yeah. But like, stereotypically, I heard Indian people got a lot to work on. Is that true? Yeah, Indian people, for the most part, have more body hair, I think. I don't know. I personally don't. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that works. Pounds. Double fist pound. Very little. Same minute, dude. Oh, That's how good we are. Really? So you have it just in the places that are important. Fucking okay, Like, my, my legs are, you, you know. This. What do you like, do? That's not bad. That's, That's not normal. bad. Yeah. 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 Andrew got your beat. You know what I'm saying? Normal. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. It's not my hot seat, guys. I would focus. think average, yeah. I would say. Let's yeah. focus here, guys. But, like, dude, I don't give a fuck about that shit. You got it. It's DNA. It's genetics. Go fight your parents. You're an actor, right? Yeah. Weirdest fucking position you've been put in as an actor. The weirdest position. A like, yeah. a, like a doggy style? Yeah, yeah, so. Doggy style. <laughs> We're pretty close. <laughs> so the first time I had to do a scene where I, I had to get intimate uh, with my scene partner. Guy or girl? Uh, girl. Uh, it was on Stitchers. <laughs> it, it, people don't realize, like, you've got a whole camera crew. Yeah. Like, right here. It's not like... There's a whole audience. Uh, it's weird. People are like, is it fun hooking up with people? I'm like... No, kind of. No, not really. Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no excitement or, or sensuality. Chemistry. Yeah, like there's chemistry in the sense of that you're acting together. But there's a dude, literally, the prop guy is sitting right next to me as I'm pretending to have sex with my scene partner, and he's got like a light like this close to my face, and I'm like looking yeah. over, and the director is yelling like, harder, harder, and I'm like looking at my scene partner, and I'm like, is this sorry, like, 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 is this okay? like hip thrusting, like yeah, yeah, harder. like yeah. Oh. And so, let me see that booty shake. <laughs> that was probably the most awkward, because I was also nervous. I, I'm always curious about this. Were you hard? Like yes and no. Because yeah. then Half a job. part of me would be like, well, I don't. It's want like if it's damned if you are. And well, because I don't want her yeah, to like feel exactly. I don't want her to feel self-conscious. But I also, I also don't know if it's in, it's appropriate. No, of course, of course not. And how like, does that work? Yeah, I think Logistic. you just have to be honest. It's one of those things yeah. where. Look, as an actor, you're supposed to, you were pretending for a living, right? Yeah, and people yeah. take their job seriously. But you're a method actor, so you go hard. Yeah, so yeah. I have, I need someone to fluff me. <laughs> Are you guys hiring? But it's just like one of those things. I think it's important to have a, an honest conversation with your scene partner. Can I and get hard? whatever happens, happens. I think we know it comes with the territory. What's the rehearsal for that like when it's up, just you two? For... They put like nude underwear on you, which for me means just like white underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean anything for me. <laughs> right. I'm like, guess what? Can't see my crotch anymore because yeah, it's there, not that... the same color of my skin. Is there, a, is there a rehearsal? Like, do you and your scene partner work on the scene and do the physical part too? Over and over I... and over and over and over. <laughs> yeah, like, what do you say? I did it. Like, I, I don't know. I guess it depends on on the actors in the scene. Yeah. Like, it just depends. Like, obviously, if it's something big. And it needs to be choreographed. Like it's just, it, all, it all depends on what the circumstance. So specifically in this circumstance that you are no, referring to, no, I did not to, rehearse. Was I did it, not rehearse. Was this like a sex scene, like intercourse concept? Uh, yeah, I th that's basically like we were under a blanket because it was on free. But if you don't have a scene partner, did you rehearse with a pillow or what? 
<laughs> like he's never had. <laughs> yeah, you know, usually I'm sorry. All I'm saying is, you know, there's stunt fighting and then there's real fighting, That's right? True. So there's yeah. stunt fucking. Right? Stuff fighting sure. usually use pillows. Because yeah. I heard in porn, like, the shit that they do isn't really as good as, like, what really feels good. Right. You know, there's like, yeah, but we're not really having sex. <laughs> I wish you were. <laughs> but, like, softcore sex. Like was, it, was it comedic or just purely romantic, the sex scene? It's, it starts off comedic and then goes romantic That's and then cool. ends up, at the end, being comedic. Because um, in the scenario, we're getting phone calls from our, our uh, lab partners, like some shit has gone down, and we're not getting the phone call because we're into each other. And then obviously they show up and we're like, where the fuck are you? Like, what were you doing? And it was like, well, uh, you know, uh, 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 no, 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 nothing? <laughs> you know, like one of those. What is the honest conversation you have with your same partner? I usually defer to the partner, especially if it's, if it's female, yeah. and I just say, look, I'm, I'm here for you, Whatever you're comfortable with, I'm comfortable with. Anything that makes you uncomfortable, just stop. You is tell me. Face? Is there a safe word? <laughs> no, don't just stop. It's yeah. not like no, dude. There's, a, there's but this stop. Is there's 50 people around you. Is that called for? Can I grab her titties? If the scene requires it, but that's a conversation you need to have with your scene partner. And then the same way goes the other way. You know, am I allowed to grab you? Can I bite you? Is it, yeah. is it appropriate to the scene? You're not gonna do something that's not appropriate. <laughs> not even in the script. Do you guys ever like, like, cause you're laying on top of her, right? Yeah. In the, with the blanket, do you go, can we do it for reals under here? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever ask her? Dude, you'd be a good actor. Yeah. No, cause you know like in, uh, in Creed, in Creed, uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone wanted to knock Michael B. Jordan out so he knows what it feels like, right? So he got a real knockout. I'm like, do you ever go like, we gotta do, we gotta, we gotta do, do Stallone real. style. <laughs> that's, that's the industry term. Yo. Strictly professionally Professional. speaking. Yeah. Stallone yeah. style. Gotta... I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one. Stallone style. Stallone. So I, there's a great thespian. Have you heard of him, Sylvester Stallone? Yeah. <laughs> he has this technique. It's called Sylvester Stallone. I don't know if he'll be working very much after that, if I employ Stallone style, but... I thought it... that's what Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie did on Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and that's why they became together. So. Maybe off camera. Yeah. Off camera. Well, they it's because they, they rehearsed too much. They were Stallone styling for sure. They rehearsed so much that they fell in love. Yeah. What if the, the girl said that to you? Oh, oh. Stallone style. I would, honestly, I would, <laughs> I would get nervous. <laughs> I would be like, I'd be like, oh, Says it shit. that way, she goes, I want it Stallone style. If my scene partner was like, Stallone style, as we've, we've called it. <laughs> yeah. As we've defined You're it. You're like, yeah, you yeah, watch yeah. JK News? <laughs> <laughs> This is just a Hollywood term. Yeah. Like this is just Stallone this is Stallone. standard. It would throw me off, man. It would definitely throw me off. It would yeah, I would. I would. I would like to think I'd be cool and calm and collected. Let's get rocky, Tesh. Still Teshter Stallone. Sorry, I'd be like, fuck. Did you ever get a boner in any scene where you had to apologize? Like a fight scene. <laughs> fight scene. No, it's weird. It's hard because your mind is in a different place. Your in mind your is just diff in a different place. Because you're working. You're working. Yeah. You're, you're working. The mentality is different. It's hard to explain to somebody what the energy and the atmosphere is because you have to give a believable performance. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not. You're not in an intimate setting. Yeah. Like they try to make it intimate. Yeah. They're like, okay, all non-personnel has to get offset. Like, oh. so if you're not in the scene, you're not gonna be like, yeah. hanging out. But there's still but 80 maybe people. You are <laughs> yeah. Hanging out. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 and there's a fucking but, yeah. furry thing, like right. But like non-personnel scene, like now <laughs> you're probably you're gonna be like nowadays if you're doing it. There's gonna be maybe like you know 10, 15 people, yeah. and they're all gonna be wearing masks, and yeah. you're like, where the right. fuck am I? Yeah. Is you gonna look like you're in a lab experiment now <laughs> with the lights, That's right? True, you got the boom mic, dude. He's like standing over you. You're like, well, okay. Like your ass, <laughs> like your ass is hitting the mic. Like you never know what's going on, right? How tight is your frame? Yeah. It's a very technical thing. How yeah. tight is her frame? Cause you don't know. Yeah. Stop covering your face. Don't put your hand on their face. Like, like, sorry. So then you're like, where do I put my hands? Where do I, should I put them here? My the way? titties. Is this okay? Is this okay? <laughs> yeah, like, you know? Then you're like, you're like, I guess I'll just put my hands here. <laughs> While you're making love yeah. like that. That's the fucking yeah. thing. <laughs> is this sexy? Like, you know, you start doing it, then you're self, and then you're self-conscious, and then you're like, do it. you're not thinking about, do I have a boner? Cause your hands are up here. <laughs> you're like, you know what I mean? Cause it's gonna get in the way of the shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Today's video is brought to you by Amazon Music. Since you're listening to this show, I think it's safe to assume that you like podcasts and comedy talk shows, right? Yes. Well, you'll find a lot of top, 
binge-worthy podcast and talk show like this on Amazon Music. Amazon Music has more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to like the breathtaking true crime podcast, Dr. Death, Miracle Man. It's available two weeks early on Amazon Music. But Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. They have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream for free. And no matter what you're listening to, you can go hands-free with Alexa. And if you're like me and you want music on demand and ad-free, you have to try Amazon Music Unlimited. That gives you unlimited access to over 75 million songs, as well as podcasts, music videos, and more. With Amazon Music Unlimited, you can listen to any song, anywhere, offline with unlimited skips. One of my favorite things to do is play Amazon Music. Uh, I go, Alexa, play, and we'll play games when me, Gio, and Tyker are cooking, and we'll play different games where we go, okay, we're gonna name songs that have food ingredients, mm. like peaches and cream, or we'll go, oh, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll name songs that have numbers in them. Mm. And then we just make this a fun game, and since it's hands-free and it's on Alexa, we just play that until someone loses and we just have a fun family time with That's Amazon nice. Music. So if you want to listen to a bunch of music, super convenient, hands-free, offline, online, make sure you give it a try because right now you can try it for three months unlimited for free. Go to amazon.com slash O-T-R-P-O-D to try it for three months unlimited for free and see if you like all the music and podcasts and all the different shows that they have on there. Go to amazon.com slash O-T-R-P-O-D. That's crazy how boners work, because they come when you don't want them to, and then they, they don't appear when you need them. But also, isn't it hard to have a boner when your focus is on complete something? Well, listen, you know, it's, it's look, it's a double-edged sword. Pardon me if I do, pardon me if I don't. Yeah, that's pretty right? It's a sword, Please, that's for sure. Don't take it as an don't insult, wield. don't take it as a compliment. It just... Mine's a one-sided blade. Mine's more like a cleric's mace. <laughs> oh, that's pretty tight. Amazing, amazing. So what's, uh, um, what's something that you worked on that you're like most proud of? Uh, man, what am I most- Was it your role of Ken in, in Barbie and Ken? I, I'm very proud of that. You finally became- <laughs> that's Dude, that's baller. a freaking- I, I, that, That's definitely that's a very so cool much. accomplishment. That's I think so every bad. opportunity I get to be on screen for me, I'm, 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 I'm proud. You know, including these screens, these screens, these screens, these screens too, yeah. to get a platform to, to yeah. be able to just sort of uh, speak. You're one of the guys that didn't big time us after they got in yeah. film. You know, you came back. Thank you very much. Are people big times you, huh? Oh, this is a stepping stone. Like I've always said, this is the high school fast food job for people. <laughs> and sometimes it's the, it's the place of second chances. I'm trying to retire here. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Say, yeah. I love Some people, this is, yeah. this is fun for me. They had a career and then a fucking complete downward spiral. And then they come back, <laughs> come they come back. here. They come here to work. I guess I'm in a downward spiral <laughs> right now. <laughs> no, you were so low that we came yeah, all that way. That's true. I went to upper like, spiral. Like we typically, you know, attract people who have nothing else going for them at <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where, I'm like, where them. do I fall on this spectrum? Hey, damn if you do, damn if you, you don't. don't. You know. He's I like, guess he ain't coming back, bro. He's like, I need to get out of here. I always say this, like, don't take it as an insult or a compliment. A lot of the, a lot of the roles that I've booked, uh, um, have been, I don't. They're like open ethnicity. They're not necessarily oh, cool. Indian characters. Mm -hmm. They become Indian after I get the job. And so for me, it's. It, it feels good because it means one, I feel validated that I'm able to compete with the larger community. And it's not like, oh, we're just looking for a South Asian person. So mm. it's like a list of 10 of us. It's yeah. like, no, we're having open auditions and it's like, we like this guy the most. What got you into acting? Cause, I, you, cause you majored in it in college yeah, too. Yeah, I loved, so growing up, I loved martial arts. Like my two biggest things that I loved watching was uh, like Michael Jackson and, and Martial arts movies. Both had kicking. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> yeah, exactly. And so like, Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> yeah, like so old Bruce Lee movies, Jackie Chan, Van Damme, Steven Scott, like all those crazy ninety action yeah. flicks. I love those two. Um, See like a era, regular like, Asian dude. Yeah, dude. Like, you know, Schwarzenegger, all that shit. And then, you know, just loving song and dance. I got big into Taekwondo growing up, and so like I wanted to be a Power Ranger, wanted to be like an action star. And that sort of slowly morphed into me you know, getting into singing, and then dancing was always like a big hobby of mine, and so then I was doing musicals, 
And then I was like, I don't want to be a doctor. Both my parents are doctors. Mm. They, they Were they pushing that on you? They never really pushed it. I always was interested in it. Like, I found it interesting. Um, but I once I was exposed to performance, that's what I fell in love with. Mm. And then I was like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like, what was your, was it like a school play or something that you were like, I'm Macbeth, bitch. I like, did Macbeth in 11th grade, yeah. Oh, I played Macbeth, shit. yeah. Of course yeah. you did. So that was, Damn. that was, I hated my life. Cause I was like, oh, should I make memorize my lines or like study for my SATs? Yeah. So, <laughs> shit. But I knew uh, when I was in second grade, <laughs> we did a, a magic school bus musical. <laughs> And we had to sing, and I remember, because I always grew up being the smallest kid, smallest, skinniest kid, always, basically until I was like 18. And I was like, oh, I guess I can kind of sing. And it was the first time that I was like, oh, I'm naturally good at this. Because mm. like I wasn't, I was quick, but I wasn't strong, mm. you know? And obviously I was smart, but that's not cool. You know, and now obviously that's all changed. <laughs> 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 what's, a, what's a role that you're like, Oh man, I don't know if I should take this, but I know it's gonna be better for my career, but I personally don't really like this. Or have you ever even taken a role like that? I haven't encountered that yet. Um, I haven't encountered that yet. Most of the stuff that I do, if I'm taking the job, I feel like it's going to push my career forward. Mm. Uh, I hope one day things go so well that I'm like, ah, you know, you it's a luxury, it right? I can yeah, turn yeah. it down. I have obviously turned down auditions before, where I feel like, oh, I don't think this is gonna push forward or I, I'm not gonna learn anything. I try not to take jobs just for financial gain. Mm. Oh, you like and it, me are different, baby. Um, <laughs> that being said, because we're at the 15 uh, minute, 21 second mark where we like to take it real, real close, get a little yeah. bit warm. What clip of you online can we look up right now that you would be most cringy and embarrassed by? If we all watch <laughs> oh, it shit. Uh, Probably a video well, this, for me, this is funny. I was in the Zumba video game. Really? And so you like choose your instructors. Yeah. And so I taught Bhangra in the Zumba wow, video game. And so right. me and my buddy are instructors you can choose. Is so it? so no, type, in, type in Zumba World Party Bhangra. Type in Ratesh Wang Fu. I think that's probably the cringiest one. Oh yeah, yeah. that's pretty cringy. Any, a lot of those Wang Fu projects. Yeah, you know, disgusting, man. They make me throw up. Did I look at uh, it? Uh, no, no, no. So, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, make me throw yeah. up. <laughs> he was in a Wong Fu video? Yeah, yeah That's yeah. where we met. I watched myself in a Wong Fu video and I'm fucking threw up on my dick, dude. Wong Fu stuff. <laughs> oh. yeah. Wong Fu is just you all cringy, dude. That so one? cringy. I'll, I'll find, there's, a, there's a, yeah, that was a Bollywood song. I mean, look, it was cool. I, I had a lot of fun, but like, I watch this and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta watch a little bit of this. We at least, at least it's like this. culturally like. It's cool. At least it's a it's successful cool. game. And I will that say you this: did. it's it's real bungra. It's not like your Bollywood bullshit bungra. South Asians watching it. So it does like the motion huh? thing. It does. It does like. Oh, there they are. Dude, you're in the. You're in fucking Meta World India. Yeah, this is the. <laughs> this is Meta Taj Mahal, bro. Yo, this looks like an indie music video. Man, he's done a lot of stuff. That's dope. I've had uh, dude, quite course, the journey, dude. bro. Cool, yeah. <laughs> this is tight, dude. Yeah, so we, we used to teach Zumba structures bungra. So I used to what? teach at their conference and stuff like that. So I used to teach full time in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yo. And the better you did, the more background dancers you got. Oh. oh. So they would pop up. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I want to learn this. Yo, it's tight. This is this is not as cringy as I, I thought. I, I'm like sure I watch it now, and I'm like, no. it was more of like my, the clothing I'm wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, shut the fuck up. Wait, that's his girlfriend. Is there like a redhead Australian girl? Dude, I don't remember. I did this ten years ago. I think Maybe. that's my girlfriend. That's <laughs> <in this. laughs> I knew this. I set this whole fucking thing up. I set the whole Yo, fucking thing up for this joke. I waited yeah, 10 years for this joke. She told me one of her most cringe things is this too. So at, least, at least we're on the same page. But she's no, not Indian, so that's Indian. why. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. That's front, you should teach us how to do this what dance. As it world. should be. What a small world. We should learn how to do but this I was, dance. I was on a dance team in college that did hip hop and bhangra. We were like a fusion dance team, so that's kind of where my, where I was, I learned Bhangra, taught Bhangra, and then I moved out here and worked at PF Chang's, and then I got roped into Zumba, and I was like, oh fuck, fuck yeah, PF Chang's. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach dance now. <laughs>
It's so, so I only, like lost 15 pounds because I stopped eating like lettuce cups and spare ribs. <laughs> yeah, the, the lettuce, lettuce cup thing, the wraps, dude. I feel like all actors have the craziest like roster of jobs while they're trying to get on a roll. Well, it's like a weird thing because you grow up, right? I grew up in a South Asian family, like traditional in the sense of that we value education. My parents are all doctors. You we did well in school. And then I'm like, oh man, I like, gotta drive uber and like do all this shit when like all my friends are investment bankers or in medical school or lawyers and they're coming out of college and making like two hundred thousand dollars and i'm making twenty dollars an hour if i'm lucky mm -hmm. and so it's it really makes you question did i make the right choice because of this all of this you know, and, and do you laugh in their faces now oh i mean i don't look <laughs> i'm ken bitch <laughs> I, I i always say i'm blessed and, and for me it's like i want to be able to push the culture forward you know so while i say the zumba thing is like a cringy thing because personally it's like cringy i'm very happy that i was able to put bungra on a on a national oh, international yeah, stage yeah, right and i've exposed bungra to thousands of people personally. Like, I can say that. Yeah. And that's something I'm really proud of. Yeah. Man, that's just good. say the real thing. You just wanna be like, I am having the time of my life. That too. Hey, you are miserable, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you should laugh you at gotta, that. You gotta make it that way. You gotta make it that way, right? <laughs> like, I could've sat there and be like, fuck, should I have gone to business school or medical school? Or this is fun. take my talents to Hollywood. <laughs> Let's go. Let's that's go, that's man. tight, dude. That's cool that you still work jobs even though both your parents are doctors. Like yeah, they didn't cool throw you any mo yeah. like bones. My dad, my dad made a deal with me, and my parents were always gracious. He was like, "Look, you got to take care of what you need to spend on. If you need money, like that's I'll nice. help you. Yeah, but I don't want you to waste your time doing dumb shit. Like spend your time that's and energy dope. becoming a better artist. Yeah, and they've always that's had tight. that mentality. So, so like, if you're gonna spend money, like that. push no, the no, needle fuck. forward, <laughs> right? Like otherwise, what's the point if I'm working in a restaurant fucking 100 hours a week I'm not getting better no time for your I'm not craft. getting better yeah. I'm not gonna book a job yeah. I'm not getting a, I'm not becoming a better actor a better singer auditions. better dancer better artist yeah. right so if the goal is to make money being an artist I have to be a better artist yeah. how do I do that that's probably not PF Changs <laughs> PF Changs although I could tell I can I could do a bomb order for you guys you know